Welcome to MB Shoe Dock, where we explore the world of quality dress shoes for men. We will cover the art of patina and shine, learn to care for our shoes, review the brands that you love, and introduce brands that you've never heard of. So in typical 2020 fashion, and with COVID-19 going on, we'll be seeing more of this. Unfortunately, the client spilled some hand sanitizer on his Carlos Santos shoes. You can see that it stripped the color off, so we are going to fix it. I'm starting with a custom mix of Fibings Tan and Mid Brown to try to get the lighter undertones of this color. This is the Wine Shadow Patina by Carlos Santos. Now because it was already stripped, I didn't really feel the need to try to strip it with acetone. Um, just gave it a brushing beforehand to remove any kind of dust or debris is all. I could see that that was not going to be dark enough, so I transitioned to Fibing's medium brown, which is just a little bit darker still. It was looking like a good match, but really it's kind of hard to tell with the dry dye on the surface. So I'm using Bic 4 conditioning lotion to rehydrate the area and also to remove any of that surface dye. It kind of leaves a haze on the top of the leather. Now you can see once I rehydrate this area, that it is obviously still too light and that defect shows up pretty clearly. Moved on to the next darker color, which is Fibing's Mahogany. And hopefully this will give us a better match and cover up that light spot. Now because of the size of the defect, I did have to carry the darker shading a little bit further up the vamp than what it originally was, um, but I think at the end of this it blends in well and it looked natural. I've moved on to Saphir Cream Polish in dark brown. This is going to help to establish a soft shine over the rest of the shoe.
After the cream polish, I did give the shoes a quick brushing and now moving on to Saphir Mirror Gloss to try to give the shoes a high shine. I usually like to apply the first couple layers of the Mirror Gloss by hand. I feel like I can push the wax into the pores of the leather a little bit better this way. And then I'll move to a cloth to get the high shine at the end to do the mirror shine. After those first two layers by hand, I transition to using a shine cloth and I introduce little drops of water on the toe as well and start buffing. This is where the mirror shine really starts to show. For the finishing touch here, I've moved to Saphir Pat Deluxe in dark brown. This helps to give just a little bit more of a burnish on the toe tip, and I feel that it shines up actually a little bit better than pure mirror gloss. So mirror gloss I like to use for the base coat. It builds up a little bit faster, but the PDL gives a little bit higher shine, I feel. Here you can see I've got them all shined up, finished up, and looking pretty even. So even though I had to carry that burnishing a little further up the vamp than it was originally, I think it matches pretty well with the other shoe. So I don't think it looked out of place and really quite pleased with the result here. Thanks again for all your support on this channel. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share.